to the Chevy Colorado kickoff show. It's a beautiful late afternoon, University of Phoenix Stadium, Glendale, Arizona. The roof is open. Temperature in the mid 60s. Here's a first look into the Patriots locker room. The AFC champs, 12 and 4 during the regular season, beat the Ravens and the Colts in the playoffs. They get here down the hall. A look into the Seahawks locker room. NFC champs, 12 and 4. They beat the Panthers and the Packers to get the Super Bowl. 49. Now Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, Michelle Tafoya. Well, it has been without doubt the craziest preamble ever to a Super Bowl. But what do you know? A game is ready to break out finally, and it's a compelling one, matching two teams, each the best in their respective conferences. Seattle tries to win a second straight. New England tries to win a fourth in the 21st century. Of course, the national conversation, Chris, for the last two weeks has dealt with deflated footballs and an investigation. All the Patriots basically saying to us, that's just noise outside, won't be a distraction. What do you say? The word distraction and Patriots, it just doesn't seem to go together, does it? You think back to Spygate in 2007, they almost ran the table that season. Earlier this year, the sky was falling, and here they are again in the Super Bowl. They have a tendency to rally around each other, and when they do, they're even more dangerous. I think they'll come up big here today. On the other side, your initial thoughts about the reigning champion Seahawks. Let's talk about Russell Wilson. I think he's one of the most charismatic young leaders we've seen come in the NFL in a long, long time. And today he has a chance to beat Tom Brady and Peyton Manning in back-to-back -back Super Bowls. How strong is that? Three game festivities going on right back after this with more of the kickoff show from the University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona as we get set for Super Bowl 49. Tonight's kickoff show is brought to you by the all-new Chevy Colorado, Motor Trend's 2015 Truck of the Year. Super Bowl 49 on NBC is brought to you by the all-new Chevy Colorado, Motor Trend's 2015 Truck of the Year. By Reebok, be more human. By eSurance, get a quote for you, not someone sort of like you. And by Microsoft, empowering us all. A look outside the stadium. The roof is not open that often. They only open it up for the Arizona Cardinals about two or three times a year. Not at all this season, but it's open today. Gorgeous day as the New England Patriots come out of their locker room ready to come out onto the field and let's take a look at their starters. Tom Brady, Michigan. McGarrett Blunt, Taylor County High School. Shane Green, University of California. Julian Edelman, Kent State. JoJo LaFell, LSU. Rob Gronkowski, Arizona. Nate Solder, Colorado. Dan Conley, Southeast Missouri. Brian Stork, Forest State. Brian Wendell, Fresno State. Sebastian Ballmer, University of Houston. Rob Nikovich, Purdue, Vince Wilford, Hurricanes. Silver Shalinga, the University of Utah. Alan Branch, University of Michigan. Chandler Jones, Syracuse University. Dante Otto, the University of Alabama. Jamie Collin, Feather Me. Terrell Rivas, Pitt. Patrick Chung, Ducks. Kevin McCourty, Rutgers. Brandon Browner, Oregon State. Stephen Goskowski, University of Memphis. Ryan Allen, Louisiana Tech University. Danny Aiken, University of Virginia. Brady ready to make his entrance and here come the Seattle Seahawks NFC champs reigning Super Bowl champs ready to come out onto the field let's take a look at the Seattle starters Russell Wilson from a whole pack of badgers Marshawn Lynch Oakland Ice City California Doug Baldwin Stanford Jermaine Curse, Washington Luke Wilson, Rice University. Tony Moyaki, University of Iowa. Russell Okun, Oklahoma State. James Carpenter, Alabama. Max Unger, Oregon. J.R. Sweezy, NC State. Justin Britt, LHS, MIZ. Cliff Averill, Boilermaker. Tony McDaniel, Tennessee. Kevin Williams, Oklahoma State. Michael Bennett, Texas a &M. K.J. Wright, Mississippi State. Bobby Wagner, D. Utah State. Bruce Irvin, Almost Heaven, West Virginia. Richard Sherman, Stanford. Cam Chancellor, Virginia Tech. Earl Thomas, DBU, Texas. Byron Maxwell, C.C. Blaney. 
Stephen Hauschka, Middlebury College. John Ryan, University of Virginia. Clint Gresham, Texas Christian. Patriots, Seahawks, and we're ready to meet the AFC champion as you welcome the New England Patriots. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the NFC champion, Seattle Seahawks. Tonight's kickoff show is brought to you by the all-new Chevy Colorado, Motor Trends 2015 Truck of the Year. The Walter Payton NFL Men of the Year Award is the only NFL award that honors outstanding community service as well as excellence on the field. The legacy of Walter Payton is an exceptional athlete and humanitarian is carried on by standout NFL players who conduct themselves in an exemplary fashion in uniform while also demonstrating outstanding contributions to society off the field. Annually, each of the 32 NFL clubs nominates a candidate for the prestigious Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award to recognize their teammates who best embody the spirit of sweetness. Every day we try to be the best football players we can be, but along the way we can have an unbelievable impact. There's so much good being done in this league. This award recognizes the best of the best. Please welcome 2013 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award winner, Charles Tillman, joined by Jarrett and Brittany Payton. Winning the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award last year was a defining moment of my career. It reinforced that we as NFL athletes have to make real change within our communities. And now it is my privilege and honor to introduce the winner of the 2014 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year, Mr. Thomas Davis of the Carolina Panthers. Earlier today, the NFL lost one of the most respected members of its family, the matriarch of the New York Giants, Mrs. Ann Mara. Please join in a moment of silence for a remarkable lady who for decades inspired a family, a team, and all who knew her. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in celebration of this beautiful country, please welcome nine-time Grammy Award winner, John Legend. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies for America, America, America. 
Presenting the colors this evening is a joint service color guard from right here in Arizona. These proud men and women are assigned to active guard and reserve units based in Arizona and represent all members of your United States military. To honor America with the singing of our national anthem, please welcome Tony Award winner, Edina Menzel. and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets The bombs bursting in the air Yeah, he proved through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled red Where the land of the free and the home of the brave. The Air Force Thunderbirds, our gratitude to those airmen and our troops serving around the globe. Coin toss when we come back. Tonight's kickoff show is brought to you by the all-new Chevy Colorado, Motor Trend's 2015 Truck of the Year. Al Michaels and Chris Collins, we're back for Super Bowl 49. The game has been dissected 48 million ways this week. But you, my man, get the last word. It's a chess match. There are always some telltale signs early in the game. What will you look for over the first four or five minutes? Well, I think in last year's Super Bowl, it took about five minutes to figure out that Seattle's defense was just too fast, too athletic for Denver. So I think in this one, for New England's tackles, they have to prove not only can they play big, but they can play fast. And the Seahawks, of course, ran away with it at the middle end. So give me a guy on each team who you think would be most impactful in determining the outcome of this game. Tom Brady, he's going to have to play nearly perfectly against Richard Sherman and the Legion of Boom. And on the other side, Marshawn Lynch. Everything Russell Wilson wants to do starts with Marshawn Lynch. I think it's going to be a heck of a game. What do you think? Great. All right, what about the coin toss now? I'll tell you what, we have come a long way, baby. There was the coin toss for Super Bowl one. 
now it takes a small village to get it done. Here's the PA announcer, Scott Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the captains for the New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks. And coin toss participants, honorary captains, Teddy Bruschi of the New England Patriots and Kenny Easley of the Seattle Seahawks. And now, referee Bill Vinovich. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and welcome to Super Bowl 49. Congratulations on a great season, and good luck this evening. We have a commemorative coin. The Lombardi Trophy is heads, the stadium is tails. New England, you've been designated the visitors. Heads. You have the call. Heads. He is called heads. It is tails. You want to talk? Seattle will defer. You want the ball? Which way do you want to kick? Turn it around, please. New England will receive in the first half. Good luck, gentlemen. So we'll see Tom Brady very early, and we'll see Michelle Tafoya right now. Al, thank you. I'm with Seattle Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll. Coach, it's been 10 years since a team won back-to-back -back Super Bowl championships. It happened to be the Patriots back in 2004. What gives you the most confidence that you have a bunch that's ready to break that drought and make some history tonight? Well, honestly, we're not thinking about that at all. It really doesn't have any bearing on what's going on. That, if it happens, it happens. We're going to try to play the same kind of football we always play. We play every game like it's a championship night, and this one is the same. So I want to see us play like we're capable. I'm not looking for anything special. I just want to see our guys play with great energy, really great enthusiasm, play tough and smart. And we do that, we'll be okay, and we'll take whatever happens. And what was your final message to your guys before they took the field? I exactly that. Exactly. Just, just trusting ourselves believe in one another and support one another. That's how we do this all year long. Coach, thank you. Thank you. And three members of the Legion of Boom come into this game nursing injuries. Richard Sherman told us he tore a ligament in his left elbow in the NFC Championship game. Earl Thomas said his injury in that game was a dislocated left shoulder and torn labrum. And Cam Chancellor injured his left knee on the second to last play of practice on Friday. Initially, the Seahawks called it a bruised knee, but the stabilizing brace he's wearing indicates it's more than that. As for the Patriots, rookie center Brian Stork, who missed the AFC Championship game with an injured right knee, is active. He will start tonight, Al. Michelle Katie Perry warming up for halftime. The footballs have been weighed and measured. I guarantee it. Super Bowl 49 next on NBC.